Okay guys, so in the last video, see, uh, last videos, uh, last couple of four videos, we were able to create our, this post and we all, we already have done a lot in terms of creating a post as well as saving it into the database and a lot of cool stuff. But now here comes the bonus, kind of a bonus, how we can handle and upload file, ha files on the server using GraphQL. So we will look into this in this video. And for the images upload, I want to uh, create a particular separate resolver for that so that it can handle any kind of file which is uploaded on the server as well as uh, we'll also define separate schema for that. So with that in, in mind and let's get started with our, with, in our coding. So let's go and create two files in our resolver. So image js and in this it can have I'll deal in such a way that it can handle any sort of file for now but we'll use it dedicate uh, dedicately we are gonna use it for file uploading and same I'm gonna do with our type in our type definition folder so I am a G image .js. and we'll start with our type definitions first so in this one we'll simply bring in first of all our graph query language so GQL from Apollo Server Express and we are going to export default default GQL and in this I'm going to define my firstly I'm going to extend type or query and then the same with the mutation so it should always have a query so so that otherwise it will start throwing some error so then we have to have some kind of mutation too so this will be our mutation and I'm just gonna create a dummy function so let's say for example info and this will just written a string and this would just do the job first for now and in the mutation now I'm gonna create a function called I'm gonna create I'm gonna register a resolver uh, so which can handle image upload so let's I'm gonna name it image uploader loader and this will take a file and that file will be our type of uploads but uh, this cannot be null and one more thing this file has always something that this upload so if I I haven't registered it anyway if I go to my GraphQL schema in the schema docs we'll see this uploader uploaded thing is already there and this is kind of a scalar which pro, which GraphQL bundles up by default so we don't have to create this type this is already already existing there and we can just go ahead and use that so this will and GraphQL will automatically know that we want to upload some file over here and then this will return some kind of response so I'm gonna say file and let's say it will return a string and that cannot be null so this string will be simply just returning the file path and this string will be just returning the file path and in the image.js and the resolver function I'm gonna export default and this will be our query first of all and that query should return this info because this is just for like a dummy and this is not gonna do anything so I'm just gonna name it dummy and I'm gonna just return a string from there hello I am image uploader resolver image resolve image resolver methods or whatever you just feel like just give it there but it should have something something inside the query only if you want to register mutation this is not gonna work at all mutation and then in the mutation object I'm gonna register this function that we have created this image uploader and I forgot uh, this is a kind of typo so I'm gonna save it and here I'm gonna this is again gonna be asynchronous function and then I'm gonna accept file from the arguments so basically I'm extracting our files and now we are not gonna we are not gonna deal with any kind of database thing stuff here 
so we are just gonna create a drop zone or some kind of uploader where we'll upload the file and it will return the URL of the file which will and then we'll store that file inside our source directory inside uploads directory so I'm gonna create a new folder within our source directory that's called uploads and that uploads will have all the static images that we'll upload to the server it will be stored here and now here we are going to deal with our file so the way we can do that is by simply saying firstly we are going to extract some kind of stuff from there so file name and then it has also provide it also provides with create file object and that create file object uh, basically create read stream so whatever the file has been uploaded it will be converted automatically by this upload type of thing uh, into a read, read, readable stream so read stream function s-t-r-e-a-m and uploading file might take some time so that's why we have to await for that and we'll await it from our file so that we have over here and as I do this everything is formatted well nice enough so now we have to Cre create a stream from this readable stream of the file that we have uploaded and then we have to store it inside uh, generate using that uh, using that uh, read stream generate that file inside our server so the way we can do that is by god I, I'm gonna create a new uh, variable so let's say strem equal to create read stream function so we'll call this function and it will stream that file and pass it to our stream and then once it is done I'm also gonna bring in a couple of things from which is by and we don't have to install those things by default node.js provides those things so I'm gonna say from path actually path we are gonna bring in our first of all extension or thing called what we call parse and parse is fine and also I want to bring in join because we have to deal with the directory and also from our file file system module so that also we don't have to install it and it will, it will automatically get it by default I'm gonna bring in first of all create write stream and only this with this these two things would do the job for us so we have brought in our join as well as a parse and now we just have to generate that image using this readable stream that of the file and we can now upload our file onto the server so first of all uh, we I'm just gonna create a couple of uh, basic JavaScript things so I'm gonna use this parse variable and I'm gonna extract the file name as well as the extension of the file so equal to from parse dot file name so basically whatever we have the file name as a like if you upload it index.pdf it will automatically split into the name as well as our extension so index as well as we'll get the PDF inside the extension so they will be simple strings and then I'm gonna re rename those files because uh, because we are gonna access those access those files using the URL some kind of URL so that's why we need to do a lot of things because URL cannot be having empty spaces and a lot of other stuff so we are gonna replace whatever we have inside if it matches to this regular expression and that regular expression will be here we are gonna write it like uh, this regular expression will be a to z is allowed 0 to 9 is allowed and then space is also allowed we will allow our spaces later we will strip it off and then we'll match it with gi so this will be our regular expression if anything matches inside that name of the file we'll simply replace it with hyphen and then whatever is left will again replace it with the help of uh, if, it, if there is a space any empty space will replace it with the help of dash or uh, underscore anything works just fine 
so I'm gonna replace it with underscore so this will be the name of the file that we are gonna generate on inside our uploads directory and now we'll generate our file using this readable stream so that we are so the way we can do that by simply saying uh, first of all let's serve up file or okay uh, before getting into the server file I have to also define a base URL so that will be the base URL and for now it's very HTTPS and we are accessing it from localhost 4000 and actually localhost is fine and we'll import that inside a configuration so we will simply say base URL and then also I think URL yeah firstly we'll bring in that base URL from our this parse variable then we'll simply say URL this will be our app URL and this will be equal to a string so here I'm gonna concatenate base URL and we already had this part so let me add this thing too and after that we'll append our port over here so basically we are appending our port so if I save this and now we're gonna import that base URL over here so basically I'm gonna import from a configuration to up and uh, this start is showing me the squiggly lines actually three up and not actually three only the two up inside the configuration it will automatically look for that URL so whatever we have inside that URL we are fetching it over here so the name of the server file will be this thing uh, this thing will be the server file so basically we are gonna join and whatever we are inside the current directory name and then we are gonna join inside oops with two up so in the base GraphQL and then we are gonna go get into the uploads directory so we are into the uploads directory and after that I am gonna put that actually inside the base uh, inside the back text I know I know it's a lot of hard part to achieve me and it took me quite a while to figure out and then I'm gonna append our name of the file so whatever the name of the file and then also append our PDF ext uh, our extension so that extension we have already extracted over here so this will be the uh, server file address and then we are gonna with the help of this thing we'll generate that file over there using this readable stream so let's write stream equal to and this is a asynchronous task so we are gonna use async await over here uh, let me quickly check if we have defined this as an asynchronous function so no we didn't define that so I'm gonna now ready to use that asynchronous function and I'm gonna use this create read write stream so whatever we have brought in from a file system now we're gonna create that read stream readable stream using this server file and once we are done with that we'll await because this is a, whatever we have inside this stream we are gonna uh, we are just gonna stream that stream that into pipe and inside this right right stream actually this is a right stream and we'll pass that writable stream over here so we are just gonna write that file on the server inside this uploads directory so once we are done with that now we are just gonna return the server file so server file will be having some kind of directory name so it will give me whole uh, absolute path of my system instead of this URL thing so now we're gonna use this URL which we have brought in from our this thing from a configuration and we're gonna replace that by playing some JavaScript so basically first of all I'm gonna use backticks 
and then inside this braces I'm gonna say base uh, actually URL and from that URL we are gonna split all the stuff so wherever we find our uploads we'll split up server file dot split and in that split I'm gonna split it to uploads because this will be having my absolute path of the directory so it will be having some some, some directory and then uploads then the file name so I'm gonna replace that I'm gonna explode that and then I'm interested in the first part of that array so this will give me the array and then once we are done with that we are just returning the server file so return server file and now we are done with that so this will this simple function will just do that uploading uploading kind of thing and also I think names of the files can be different so I'm also gonna append over here date function so basically I'm gonna put date dot now or let's say new date function and this will give me the timestamps of that of current timestamps and then we will simply append that thing to our file so that all file will be having a unique name on the server so that any file cannot ca clash with that and once we are done with that now we are just gonna register inside our root so I'm gonna bring in image from our this image so basically this is a type definition and now we brought in so we have to register that too image so now this type definition is registered and ready to be used so with that now we have to just define we just have to use this image resolver function also uh, actually inside our main root so I'm gonna import that image from our image service and then I'm gonna put that image over here and as we do this if we go to our playground and let me you can see that everything is refreshed so it will be a type of mutation and if I upload file and then this will take a file variable and this will be of a type uploads and that is required that's why we are putting exclamation mark over there and then you can see this image uploader is registered and ready to be used and this will take a file and that file will be coming our file variable that we have defined over here and then we are just getting our a string so we don't have to write that but since if I try this nothing is gonna happen because GraphQL playground doesn't allow us to append files using the query variables or something like that so for that you can look into this part called firecamp it's a third party tool and it you can install it on your system locally download and install that firecamps thing and using this firecamp tool we are gonna just run our this query so I'm gonna open it up here you can download firecamp and then you can test that there's another third party tool called Altair but it uh, it was still in a beta mode a lot of things were not working that's why I'm not using it but you can always feel free to go ahead and choose the options whatever you feel like so this uh, my firecamp is taking quite a bit to start and now you can see that upload image is already ready image uploader uh, I'm gonna paste my query whatever we whatever we wrote inside our server upload file and in our file camp query I'm gonna paste that and inside this as you can see that we have this files tab at the bottom I'm gonna click and this is taking file so it has been automatically detected and I can choose one file from here so let me put one okay so this would just work fine and as I play this cannot connect to the server because this is us localhost 4000 we were running and now if I see we have internal server so it is saying create, re create read stream is not a function so let's debug that or let's try some couple of more times 
that's not a function and that's really weird we have already defined that so mm, so let's see what is what went wrong so let me quickly close everything I think I have to restart my server so I'm gonna go to my terminal break it out of the server and then again run the script mm. and now we are ready to start with our database and still that create read stream is not a function it's showing why is that showing let me check that so I'm getting here so we have create read stream function we brought in our file from our file name Uh, two, 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 two. Okay, so why aren't we able to get our file? Image uploader from our file camp. I'm gonna use that over here. File upload, upload file mutation, verify it. And still, I'm saying that image uploader is not working. So create read stream is not a function. This is a resolver. So process tick tock call back. Okay. Click here to fetch the schema. So this is fetching my schema from there. We have uh, everything. I think they have they did a lot of good work. So these are the queries so far that we have inside our application. We can execute them one by one. I don't know why aren't they why are why is that the issue uh, pretty fine and let's reset that okay so this is taking file um, putting a check click here did you miss the post body parser middleware? And that's weird. So we have that file variable, everything is sitting, but we are not able to fetch that file, and that's really okay. So it's taking it from here, so we just have to get rid of that and then send it. Stack internal file required top upload was not provided. okay so this is I still I'm very new to this part so mutation we have the upload file and then we have to okay so this is now empty okay file type upload was not provided but now files we do have it okay let me clear that everything choose file And we are going to name it file. Send it, and still that's not happening. Our headers, okay, we don't want that headers for now. We don't want those fields too. Content type application slash JSON. Okay, I think <laughs> okay. Form that's not gonna work. This would definitely do the job for us, but I don't know why we are not able to put that file over there. Let me check that mutation again. Upload, the scalar upload is there. Okay, let me get rid of that part. So from the mutation, I'm gonna 
get rid of everything and let me open it in a new tab so here I'm gonna go to HTTP HTTP local host 4000 slash GraphQL so this was the endpoint where we are going to hit everything click here to fetch our schema from that thing and now we're gonna upload our image in our files we are getting our file so let me upload one open it dollar file upload file and then we are going to reference to our file variable that will be of a type upload and that cannot be empty let's send it and still we can see null type must not be null okay so I forgot to add file key to the variable and now you can see that we are getting the data so if I go and access this route that we have let me quickly copy from here till the end copy this and go to my browser that we have and paste it and we won't find that file here so what's that issue so first of all I made a mistake instead of this new date variable I'm gonna use date.now function and the state date.now will do the rest of the job but you can see that file has been uploaded inside the uploads directory but GraphQL doesn't allow you to access that files so we have to define these uh, we have to define this uh, this folder as a static directory of our application and the way we can do that you using Express and we have already running our Express application so we have to register that app as a uh, as a static directory in order to serve images and a lot of other static content that we want to access from there but for now I'm just gonna get rid of this file and I'm gonna re-upload that file okay so I'm gonna rerun that query again and now you can see that we have a date format well, form, well formatted date format and that file is already there here again uploaded and now I'm gonna go ahead and set my express uh, set uh, set my express very uh, set this directory as a static directory for our for our express application and also I'm gonna get rid of this GQL if this is imported without any reason reason that we have so under the who under like oh uh, wherever we have defined our application we are gonna simply create this uh, tell this application that use this directory as a static directory so we will simply say app.use and we'll simply say express that static and that static will simply join so we have to bring in join from our this thing join from path so whatever current directory is there join so current directory can be we can get it by door name and then we'll go to upload so now if I save it and now this will restart my server again so whatever this upload directory is there the server is restarted and now if I go and copy this URL from here till there I'm gonna copy this and if I go to my Google Chrome and then again paste that file and you can see that file here no that file isn't here okay so a screenshot from this thing are we getting empty spaces that's uh, that's weird actually replace should be replaced okay so what I'm gonna do Um, dot set actually not used we'll set it as the express directory okay and that's 
that's weird. HTTP something went wrong. Okay, so it's HTTPS. And I think I made mistake in my environment. So instead of this HTTPS, this will be HTTP. Let me see that. Okay, no, we are still able to see that. So I'm gonna get rid of this file. And this is not just a cookie cutter video. I'm also learning a lot. So hope you can understand with that. So now let me make that request. Okay, I have to break that server first. I have to delete this file, existing file, then break that server since we have changed the environment variable and rerun that. And I think that should do the job for now. And we'll go to our file camp, rerun this query, and now we get this at HTTP. Gonna copy from here and we'll paste it and cannot get screenshot this and that's basically because instead of this set this will be this will be use okay so this will be applied as a middleware and now if I reload you can see my that image is already there so now this is the way we can do that so after uploading an image I want to first me let me copy this query first and go to our post uh, docs and I'm gonna create a new file called image.gql and within that I'm gonna paste that so this will be our image gql so let's go and create our first post with an image so first of all I'm gonna copy this and go to my fire camp. Let's make it from the fire camp only. Okay. So it's uploading that thing. Let me uncheck this. Hmm. So we can see. Uh, yeah, I'm first of all, gonna uncheck this image uploader then create our first title of null undefined so we need to put it in our variables so title will be hello post with image is the title then we have the content so this is the content of post with image and this is just a dummy but before that we'll upload that image so we got this URL from there copy and then we we'll click on this we'll put it inside our string and now if I save it we have our featured image and everything is created so now we can render this inside our template with this image and that image has also been uploaded to the server which is over here you can access it at any point of time so now if I go to this fire camp if I wanna later if I wanna update that image I can do that too so in this way we can upload the images on the server and the, the only part the key takeaway from this lesson is just using basic JavaScript functions how you can set and create the streams on the server and then upload it anywhere but uh, uh, in my opinion uploading the images here out there it's not a good idea you can use always you are always open to use the services like Cloudinary or AWS bucket or even Google photos so you can get some subscription they will give you API key and just upload and store that images as a stream there and you'll find a lot of tutorials out there but I wanted to do this upload that on a static directory and then serve it from the static directory so that's what the key takeaway of, the, of this lesson so thank you guys in the next video we'll start looking into the user authentication as well as access control over the post and then we'll also the phone bonus of this app bonus will be like how we can use the pagination and stuff so thank you guys and hope I see you in the next video